I'm uh, Dr. Paul Derouin with Dr. Amit Goswami, and we're pursuing the quantum biology course. Uh, and this uh, last uh, chapter is, uh, is fascinating, it's very interesting. It's in some ways, this is the, the story of evolution, you know, where you see a convergence, you know, from what you said, the, uh, the enfoldment of uh, the physical, the vital, the mental, and now we are a stage or where we're speaking about the, the intuitive mind. And, and, and it's, it's also, uh, it's exciting, it has some hope, because today if we look society, we look the whole world, uh, you know, it, it's, it's very sad. There is a lot of uh, uh, polarization around different ideas, uh, politics system, philosophy, not, ph not only philosophy, but also uh, the religious debate and science. It seems that we're more polarized than ever. Mm -hmm. and, and this uh, old course now, Quantum Evolution, presents a vision that is offering a platform, I would say, like a, a platform where all these uh, different uh, divergences can, in some way, uh, reunify. And, uh, and, and words are important, you know, because if people say, oh, I am a scientific, they, they, they are very attached to it, you know. There is a sense that they are kind of proud to be in this secular world and, uh, and here the mind, the materialistic mind is the king. And the other side, the people, uh, the people as, uh, you know, as, as proud to say, you know, no, we are religious, we are people of faith. And, and, then the, and there is no way to reconcile, re reconciliate uh, these words. But now with this view of quantum physics, and this is what I understand, you know, we are offering a ground where uh, we, and, uh, where not only uh, we can reconciliate this vision, we're also offering uh, at the same time a new language. Because now you introduce uh, at the end this idea of uh, intuitive intelligence. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I hope tomorrow people will grab this idea of a, an, an intuitive scientific. And, and an intuitive scientific could be one who has uh, the capacity uh, to uh, understand what is transcendent mm -hmm. and at the same time, uh, you know, be able to grasp uh, the, the, the complexity of things and the rationality part of things. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mm -hmm. think about this? Yes, especially the idea of intuitive scientists used to be the prevalent notion in healing because, um, you know, uh, disease always has an intuitive component. It is not just about the physical body, it's also about the subtle bodies. Mm -hmm. And how do you figure out the subtle body conditions without some intuition? Because subtle cannot be measured as accurately as ever uh, as material. So um, ancient people understood it, and therefore they taught their physicians intuition. Today, we believe in a worldview which says everything is quantifiable, and although this is certainly not true about the, even the physical body, about the physical health, but that false belief uh, may, makes the doctors very dependent on their instruments, and instruments often are ambiguous, but they're hesitant to tell people that. The cost of medicine goes up because of these huge diagnostic procedures, which don't give you definite answers. So it's a mess. And, and that and mess they, could be have avoided lost if the, doctors simply would follow intuition. The, the intuitive sense of the, the old doctor, you know, the traditional doctor who will uh, absolutely go right to the problem without having all these uh, arsenal. Uh, and, and uh, you know, in the Antrek, uh, you know, I was sharing you this idea of a lady who was going to a lot of uh, exam and tests and with the fear to have a cancer. And at the end of the day, uh, the problem was just uh, muscle spasm because she was not sleeping, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. shifting in her bed from yeah. one side to another. An <laughs> uh, old traditional doctor will have probably intuit this this <laughs> thing, and and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so so there is way now to uh, maybe come with some uh, concept or idea that are appealing for both sides, you know, in some yeah. way. And, yeah. and, and what I see in your and when you say you you tell the the story of uh, the humanity, you know. I can see there is like a pattern, a convergence. And, 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 and because, as you said, though, so there is no, no time, no space. Uh, 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 originally, uh, ancient civilization has intuited this vision where we were going. This is amazing, no? 
if you, if you look at the mm. uh, culture, they, they have all perceived this idea uh, and they have defined it in different words. You know, you know if you, they have the, the, the supraman or the superman or, or some have called it, uh, uh, in, in, in some literature, they, they speak about the Adam kingdom. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. the, the original Adam, Adam and then you go through a, a process of purification and then, you know, when you reach this holiness, this, the unity, mm -hmm. then you, you, you know, you rediscover your original perfect nature. So mm -hmm. that was all already transcribed in, in ancient tradition. Absolutely. The idea of enlightenment was clearly seen. And of course, the materialist culture has given us a different concept of Superman, who is man of invincible physical stature, but hardly um, has any other uh, forces that he can control. Yeah, nothing to do with integration of higher no. archetype. It's no, more nor has when, when they think about Superman is like a superpower and super ability yeah. and super doesn't even have a heart to speak of. So you know, um, no, we certainly have um, lost our way, but fortunately, you know, quantum worldview is here and it is giving us assurances that we'll find our way back. Quickly, that is our responsibility. We have to, some of us have to take the lead. The, you know, I haven't touched uh, on the subject yet, but it looks like um, a few people might be able to make a huge difference. You mean you people, you mean the quantum university? <laughs> Wait, well, that's yeah. only a very few people, probably yeah. not that few. But I think that by the time we uh, have a few universities like the quantum universities, let's say um, every major country mm -hmm. have a quantum university, uh, around that time, I think there will be enough students trained by it to make it. Yeah, I can, I can see this trend. You know, there is, uh, like you, other uh, researcher and scientists that are aligned with this way of thinking. And then in some way we have, the way we have designed the university is also uh, to assume uh, presence in many countries, as you know, we already yeah. in 70 countries. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and as it goes, it's just exponentially grow. Yeah. Uh, we are a digital university, so it goes uh, in some way with the, the modern time where, you know, we can reach, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and, 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 and we don't have the, the the heaviness or the load of uh, these old, the uh, old ancient university that you know carry on so much structure and baggage, and you know we can, uh, we are more flexible and yeah. adaptable, and we can hone on to what is necessary. All universities have so much baggage that they teach because of tradition, that can now be dispensed with. Um, it is what education is for has to be brought back. And this is what the next level uh, is bringing up. The necessity of the next level of knowledge is very different from the necessity of the mental level of human being. In the mental level, uh, it is hierarchical. So the more knowledge you have, the more you can control the world, and therefore uh, knowledge accumulation, or now it is information accumulation, has become a major, major objective of universities and institutions, civilization itself. The, with intuition, it's different. It's transformation, which is the objective. So who will be the leaders? Um, they transform people. And they don't need a whole baggage of knowledge. So uh, the information part, the uh, knowledge part, the knowledge, accumulation knowledge part will be relatively unimportant. It will still be important enough to understand what is going on. So enough knowledge base, uh, people still have to understand the basis of the quantum worldview so that they can have right thinking, but they don't have to accumulate book after book after book. This, you know, you look at the internet of how much knowledge and how much of it is garbage. Uh, you know, it's, it's very sad that we have gone the information route backwards. We should naturally flow from information to meaning to transformation. 
And uh, of course, uh, feeling has to fit in there somewhere too. Transformation requires both meaning and feeling and integration of those. These are the things we should consider. Right? Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's not quantity, it's quality of information. This is why I think it's so important, and I never insist enough on this, is yes, when you, uh, to, uh, to our student, is just you acquire information in this it's kind of a linear or an horizontal process of learning, and but you need also a vertical uh, process which is integration. Yeah, and, and this is where you need some tool. You know, everyone and and in respect of every nature, some people will like uh, more this type of meditation. Other will be more uh, contemplative, contemplative people. Uh, as long as you have a, a tool that allow you to transcend to tap in this, uh, you know, infinite uh, reservoir you know, of potentiality or, in, in, or experience con consciousness by itself, uh, at both together, it's like, you know, a, 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 a process of learning with two legs, you know, will absolutely uh, go where you, you're speaking about, you know, where you mm -hmm. integrate, where you add meaning, and, and, and also, in the, what I discover with my student, there is also an individualization. This is very fascinating mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the difference, because if, if we compare with standard university, they all try or attempt to get out where the, you have the same, everybody is kind of duplicable. In our university, you can see that we, when they end the, the process of, of training, uh, they're all individual, they're all different, and they all express different quality of healing, and they are all different quality, because everyone has different skills. Mm -hmm. and, and they discover this through this process of, uh, intu as you said, intuition, giving meaning, finding you know, their own purpose. Healers, doctors, they, they have different purpose, they have different setup of skill, mm -hmm. they have set, different setup of uh, uh, different character, a different uh, uh, windows of, of, of intuition, you know, when they, they start to, to explore this avenue. Uh, so it's, it's very fascinating. So the, we are in a time of crisis, but at the same time, it's exciting because that we are in a time where we are leaning ling, out, you know, the right, the right platform, the right solution. Some of us. And, and that is enough. I think that, the, that there is good reason to believe uh, we'll talk more about it in uh, subsequent segments of the series, but there is good reason to believe that uh, you know there is a threshold effect of some kind, and when the threshold is reached, the changes will come rapidly. But we don't even need to depend on threshold effect. We really have to institute uh, saving grace to all of our systems which are deteriorating. You know, democracy is in shambles in, in America and in some other countries too. Um, capitalism is not working. Um, medicine is in trouble unless this integration that you and I are attempting here takes hold. And of course, the same thing can be said about every profession. It's in shambles because the opposition, the um, opposing worldviews really are, have a strangle, strangling effect of it on everything. So uh, the integration has to come very quickly, otherwise we cannot save civilization. The more it becomes apparent to people, the more they can move, and uh, the quicker change will come. Oh yeah, I totally agree. And uh, I can see around there's a lot of initiative also going on. Uh, you know, I'm thinking now Project uh, Consciousness, but there's all the other initiative where people gather together and they try to you know, uh, create a collective awareness, and uh, and 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 the, everything is there's a pendulum, and as I can see in the history of uh, evolution, uh, I'm sure there was a time, uh, you know, billions of years ago, uh, you were looking at the, the whole chaos, and uh, you know, you will wonder, you could wonder, you know, how how the first cell can be created, right? Could, when will be the the, the, the optimum environment that that happened. And then you may say, oh, that will never happen. And then later on, you know, when the, uh, yeah, the, the, the first cell, the first uh, was, uh, and then you, you may think, oh yeah, when will happen the first fish or the first 
lizard and the, you know, as, as it goes a billion years, uh, you know, there was probably, uh, if you, there was an observator that he would say, oh, that's uh, the vital body may never happen and the mantle and now we are at the supramantle. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, it's like a, a certitude that uh, this will happen. Mm -hmm. We don't know when and mm -hmm. how. Uh, it's just a question of time. It's just a question. Because life is pendulum, and, and, and human being, you know, they, they go sometimes in, in the wrong direction, you know, or when they polarize, but then they come back, you know, somewhere else in the, mm -hmm. the center because this is where is the path. Yeah, the overall movement of consciousness is towards the good, towards uh, establishing the potentiality further and further in manifestation. And that has to involve the archetypes because that's the next level of potentiality. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Goswami. You're very welcome. Find out more and enroll in a degree program today at quantumuniversity.com.